Hi, I'm John Luciano, the principal of Manio High School. Been here 12 years, and I'm going to talk a little bit about our AVID program. And I would consider the AVID program one of the most transformative programs I've had in my career, and that includes my principalships in other states. It has changed the culture of this school in a positive way. My name is Pat Holland, and I work at Manio High School. I'm also the science department chair. I teach general biology, honors biology, anatomy and physiology, and advanced placement biology. I was first introduced to the AVID program many years ago and went to a conference as our high school was preparing to embrace the AVID program. And I was so inspired by the activities that I started using them in all of my classes immediately. AVID has really helped me readjust my teaching practices to address each child's needs. I think that these are activities that anybody can do and you can raise them up to higher levels if needed or um, use them also in terms of remediation. So they're really quite expansive and expandable. So today in my general biology class, we did a think pair share with genetic traits. We are just beginning our genetics unit. So this gives students a chance to inventory what they've learned so far. I love the strategies. I love the support that it gives to students. And I love the fact that you can take these activities and use them for any level of student you may be teaching. My name is Liz Brown and I teach at Manio High School. I teach Math 1 and Honors Math 3 and um, Math 3. I think AVID strategies have really helped me as a teacher to think about the struggles that students have in the math classroom. A lot of times the problems seem um, overwhelming and the AVID strategies with the concept maps the graphic organizers, uh, the marking the text and really dissecting the words that they're needing to look at um, really helps them and, and makes them feel much more confident. A lot of students think that math class is just a place to watch the teacher and copy down what they do, but I think as we engage our students and really get them involved, they really get a better understanding of the concepts and they get a little tiny bit of the excitement that I actually have for, for mathematics. The, the first year that I came here, that would be 2007, we had sent a team to get some AVID training in Florida. The middle school had already had an AVID program for one year, so obviously those kids are now going to come up to the high school, so we needed it. So we started the AVID program here, and we started with a team of about six different teachers that got some AVID training. AVID has been one of the reasons why we've had continual success in May exceeded growth for the past four years, and I believe it's about seven out of the ten years that we've had AVID. Uh, and I attribute that success mostly to the AVID, because AVID isn't just about a select number of students. AVID is a school-wide program. As you saw today in interviewing some of our teachers and seeing in the classrooms, all those were not AVID students, nor were they AVID classrooms. They were typical high school classrooms using AVID strategies. Very little lecturing going on in these classrooms, more student participation, uh, the storyboard, for instance, which is an average strategy, which was in the history class, gives kids an opportunity to express themselves in a different way by drawing or to uh, show by their own uh, imagination how they can express what a chapter is about and to summarize it in a very different way than just writing a paragraph. And I would just want to stress that the AVID program is not about a specific number of students, although we have about 100 AVID students. The AVID program is about the entire school. It affects all of our students and all of our teachers.